welcome to another vlog. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. It's Easter Monday as I record this. Um, I've been very busy. A, a lot of worky worky. Oh, I forgot to put my nippy on for you. Hang on. This is the closest I could get to orange. I'll put the details below because I have not a hope in hell uh, of reading it. That's better, isn't it? Don't forget the Factor 50 on your lips as well. I'm prone to cold sores, so I always put Factor at least 30 on my lips. Um, it's gorgeously sunny. I'll show you in a minute. What have I done? Nothing that I could film. I've done a lot of, right, Friday off, um, Pilates and lunch with um, Trudy, Jack Sitter. So we had a lovely time at the Salt Dean Line. I didn't film anything. You've seen it before. Saturday was sort of a worky day, but I had three hours in the sun in the garden. God, that was bliss. And Easter Sunday yesterday was with Mary and Linda. They hate being filmed, so there's nothing from that. I'm really sorry. I hope I'll make up for it the rest of the week. Oh, yes. I'm tootling into Brighton tomorrow, so hopefully more stuff coming. And now I'm about to go and see Amanda. Um, you visited her last week with me. Well, I think she's been busy with Jack's portrait. So I'm going for tea. Both of us have done our work for the day and we're going to have our tea. She's like me. She does all her creative stuff during a quiet weekend when people are more chilled and the roads aren't manic so i'll see you later at amanda's with hopefully something to show you right need some plants there the ponds need some pond dye the decking as you can see has nearly been finished he was um his week was cut short by the dreadful weather but he's back this week lovely flowers down there socks the socks spent hours with me last night um let me just show you this view fabulous isn't it but the wind's a huge pain i'm going to miss being near this village look Horse and cart. And a lot of traffic. What a stunning afternoon. Just look at this. You haven't seen this side of the road. How stunning is this? Oh, just missed a seagull. Blossoms coming out. Here we are again. It's just looking stunning, the light. There are the gnomes. just sent me a message saying she's sitting in the courtyard. I don't know where the courtyard is. This is a bit of an adventure, isn't it? Oh, by the way, uh, this is not a historical building. This is not Tudor of all the like. Um, it was, I think, 1920s or 30s. It was a hotel. How amazing it must have been as a hotel. And now it's all separate homes. Right, I give up. I don't know where she is. Hello. 
I was going to say, so. what is well, lazy. what is she yeah, wearing painting. today? Oh, She's yeah. very busy painting. Yeah. Yeah, is there something to see? Yeah, there certainly Say is. hello to everyone. Oh, hello, everyone. Will it make oh. me cry? Well, well, I don't know. Everyone's I missing oh. Jack so oh. much. Oh, well, look, we're so nice at the sunset. Oh. Amanda is an artist for anyone who missed last week's vlog. <laughs> you can see plenty more on last week's vlog, but she's done... Ch you haven't finished it, have you? No. no oh! It's I'm working it oh, on the and it takes a little while. Look at that. that little face. Let me turn the radio on. Oh, my little... Oh, my God, oh. you've captured his little... Oh, that left eye yeah. is Jack. Yeah, let me... You're brilliant. Yeah, sure. So I work, I work from the a series of photos. So there's oh. that one, but working from the beach scene. Oh, so look, we've got the beach scene from look there. At that little and oh, the cliffs for and me. The cliffs and reference his collar oh, there. Oh, darling! And then working what a star on star you because oh. his fur changes colour. Yes, it it's does. Kind of sort of brown. It's black brown, though. It is and black. black. But black is very hard to paint. Oh. Just black because it's so flat. Oh. So I build up layers. You can oh, well, see I know. You, you'll the get there. Yes. Well, yeah. he's, you've got the black up. there. And, and you get all the texture. So, like in this Because he's got a gingery here. beard. Yes, that's it. The he's gingery such beard a baby. with little white whiskers. Oh, I'm so excited. Eyes. I'm so got to work on that eye. Obviously, but that him. eye is him. Yes. That's old Beady Eyes. Yes. I used to call him Beady Eyes. Yes. Just film me oh, yes. eulogising. Yes. All right. I'm going okay. to, before we have tea. All right. You look, okay. oh, look at my baby. I'll just show you, look at that bit. That's Jack. <laughs> oh, he's such a sweet boy. Oh, I'm going to be so, and I love that you've got the cliffs at the back. Well, I think it's very... Because wherever I live in old age, I mm. always have the salt in cliffs. Yes, well, it's referencing the four photographs that oh, you sent me. Oh, thank and you. And having met Jack as well, always well, really you helped. you knew Jack? Yes. Oh, look at his yeah. little yeah. face. Yeah. I can't wait to see it finished. <laughs> oh. Thank you, darling. Oh, you're welcome. I'm Turn more it black, it. you. Yes, we'll oh, do. Oh, it's perfect Yeah, don't, don't touch it. It's oil, oh, oh, it's wet. Sorry, and <laughs> it it's perfect round the bottom. Of course, well, that's building it up. Yes. You have, you so have you to build do it up in layers. Let me yeah. film you. you. Yes. So yeah. you do it in layers. Well, it, look, you can see from the paint palette here, and that paint will stay wet for days because it's wow. So a different brush, for but each. it doesn't smell. Um, no, because I use walnut oil. Oh, usually, um, I feel really sick with oil because I don't use turps. Uh, um, that what it I'm is? Using totally eco walnut oil. Good girl, eco corner. dog. Well, he was yes. a very eco dog. Yeah, he didn't eat anything unnatural. Yes. yes. Yeah. Unless he stole something. Yes. Yes. Oh, Donnie, are you pleased? Course, yes, it's working very well. And the thing is... Oh, look, yes. It, it would change depending yes, you on the can light. See. So it's much better to work with a lighter yes, brown and yes. build up. Because if you work with just no, go in the dark again. Yes, yeah. it will. It will look will, awful. Well, it's like photography. See, it's impossible to photograph. It's shiny because the oil on the. Um, oh, darling, you're doing a grand job. Is, um, Pebbles. This, yeah. So this is his favourite. So this is a linen canvas board. Is that the one you showed me? I yeah. love it. Perfect so, size. Lovely. And I, I'm going to leave oh, some of the linen. Amanda, like that. yes, do. So that's what I meant about yes. working in a video. Yes, do. And then you decide what frame, because you will need a frame, because it will buckle otherwise. Okay. I found her. <laughs> Look at this lovely courtyard. Where's Pussycat? Sun. Yes, please. Right, hello. Try and ignore the empty spot there. I know it's really sad it's making me sad too i dreamt of him last night anyway i thought i'd just pop in to show you it's so tricky i'll get the um raincoat in a minute but it's warm in the sun there's a cold wind so i'm tying my hair back and i'm literally going into brighton to do various things like getting 
specs to correct my eye problem. Did I tell you about that? I'm sure I told you about that. Macular degeneration is slightly worse and I've got a cataract. Um, the macular, de I'm going to call it AMD, I'm sure I've actually did. Um, the consultant said, leave it two months and he'll have a look to see if it's got worse. He's pretty sure it won't get worse. But in the meantime, he agreed and so did the opticians that ready-made magnifying glasses will help me enormously. Because this lens, basically, everything is blurred and that's the AMD, not the cataract. But he will get an operation for me on the cataract um, if he gets the okay. Oh, anyway, lucky to be alive is what I say. Think of how lucky we are. I just keep saying to friends, you do realise a hundred years ago we would not still be alive. So listen, any I reckon any year over 45, 50 is a big bonus, let alone 60 and 70 and 80 and beyond. Anyway, I'm showing you what I'm wearing to go out to do all these things. I need earrings because my scarves keep catching on the ones that were put in when I had them pierced. You remember that saga? Uh, all sorts and some shopping, hopefully. I'm in a terrible shopping mode. It's because I keep being invited to posh things in London and I don't have posh clothes, apart from that beautiful skirt that's just waiting for the summer and the beautiful jacket from last week, which I will dress up on this vlog, promise. Anyway, I'm showing you after all the Easter eggs, how I'm coping with covering up and hiding very saggy upper arms now, even though I do all those weights. Some, that's some damage, but you anything, that's what Dr. Amley would say. Um, so I'm trying to look smart, you know, interesting, but still go straight from the shops, straight to yoga at the club because they've got a really nice restorative yoga at 6.30. So I'll tell you about that tomorrow. But this is hiding the Easter egg fat. And this is double layers and hiding the upper arms. Um, I know we shouldn't have to hide, but you know, I'm keen to keep my wrinkly arms to themselves till I'm a bit browner. Um, and that's it for now. I will see you in Brighton. I completely forgot. Where are you? There. I had a top tip for you. Um, for those who use the tube, in London, well, we all do, don't we? Because it's cheap and quick. Well, it's not cheap, it's quick. Um, what's all that over there? So you see, it's because I'm trying to hide the sad patch. Um, <laughs> right, I worked this out because I was only going a couple of stops South Cannon Stone Square, as you saw last week, week before, like last week. Um, and I worked out, so you have to be careful with bags because they get in the way but be really careful doing this because you know how jiggity they are but i worked out if you sort of put your bag between your legs um and then just i should do think i did do it like that i think i just left it like that so i had bags now stand right near the pole imagine this is the pole really close to it so that you can grab it and what I've started to do with slightly bent knees is to use my balance while we're whizzing along. Now, be careful. If you haven't got good balance, do not do this. But I found 90% of the journey, I only had to do that a couple of times. And it's so good for the core. You can actually feel your core working away. Anyone who does Pilates will understand that. You have to, otherwise you can't balance. If I go saggy, I wish I could do it on a tube, but you know, I'm going to feel a right prat. So how cool is this? So you can imagine, right, I'm going to pretend I'm on the tube and I'm holding my core in the whole time. So whatever you're wearing, unless it's heels, Try this one, girls, or any transport anywhere in the world that's safe to do so. Woo! Coming to a stop. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>
stop was All Saints. Um, John will add some music and you can see 40% off a lot of their nicest clothes. Nothing for me though. Onwards, upwards. Right, I found the t-shirts I wanted at Coz. Just doing a quick sweep. They've got their spring stuff in. Um, I'll show you. They're just ordinary tees with very thin sleeves. So I can cover those arms and layer up. Freezing. I'm freezing now. If you could feel my hands. Got some very nice stuff in. Worth a visit. Worth a visit for sure. Look at that. I'll stop buying cream. Oh, and I must show you the handbag. Let's show them the bag. I'm loving that one. Bottom left. I'm loving it. I won't tell you the price. Look at this bloody weather again. So I can't film any more of Brighton for you. I'm rushing to my yoga class. I've had oh, it's really, really I've had the most successful shopping, clothes shopping experience ever. Um, but I'm going to keep it for the vlog when I'm away because I'm just booking my trip to Portugal in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to keep it for then because I do want to leave you with something, even if it's short. Um, and I'm already doing clothes this week because I've got that beautiful jacket to dress up. I don't know what's got okay, okay. wrong with me. I think it's spring, but I just can't stop nesting. And part of nesting is clothes. Right, I'm going now so I can walk faster. So I'll show you what I bought another week or two weeks. Okay, see you later. Hello. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here with some dressing up. Here's the gorgeous jackets I bought in London. And this, I'm still breaking in the boots, but they're much more comfortable now. And, um, oh, I should have worked this out. Okay, they're so difficult to get on and off that they're getting better. I should have shown you the other pieces first. Anyway, this is my very casual look for spring. I'm doing the um, Anna Winter vibe again today. And I'm not getting too close because I haven't put any makeup on because I am so tired. Um, I have awful nights of insomnia, um, stress, all sorts of family stress, work stress. Everything stress straight after the most gorgeous yoga session. Anyway, um, my favourite white t-shirt. Oh, my favourite white t-shirt from Zara. Um, I haven't bought the bag. Probably my big blue bag. Big big blue bag. Whatever. Any bag will go with this colour, won't it? And I will go and change into a couple of other things. This jacket is going to go with so many things and make it an outfit. You know me and my outfits, except I do have a lot of cream jackets. Anyway, see what you think. So, do you remember this skirt I bought in a Marylebone? Um, oh, Pioneer, that was it. Thanks to Joe, middle age Banks. Um, dying for summer. I mean, isn't this a great outfit? I'm sure I could find something smarter as um, a top, although it goes fine. Um, I love the boots. You know me and my boots. Um, but also, lots of umming going on. Sorry, I'm chopping my head off. Uh, also, I think it just works so well as a top rather than as a jacket, if you see what I mean, especially with the English climates. Oh my God. Ridiculous. Got soaked yesterday. Oh yes, you know, because I couldn't film much. It's a short week. I'm really sorry if it's not very exciting, but it will be more exciting next week because I'm going to London again. Right, and isn't Jack looking lovely in that portrait? 
We'll put him there when it's done so you can always see him. You're so devoted to him. I'm very touched by everything you've said. Um, so yes, it's rather cute, isn't it? I think for a day event, this would be lovely for the summer or an evening. Why not? Uh, and I might think about, I have got another top. It's quite slink, sort of thinner material. So I might try that with this. Anyway, one more, or one more outfit. Look at this. This is my very favourite with this jacket. I went into Zara and bought these cheap chips. Look at the bottoms. I mean, it's just... I would definitely wear this to a PR thing when I have to dress up a bit. I'd even wear it in the evening. And I wouldn't take this off because of the fact, I mean, I've got to lose the stomach for summer. Anyone else? Anyone got any really good tips? Um, I'm going to listen to Michael Mosley again because I'm obviously doing, well, I know what it is. I'm not getting enough exercise. That's what it is because of this weather. I need to walk like 20,000 steps a day and then it would come off. So, so annoying. Um, but I know I can share that with you, but I just can't lose the weight. I put on it literally at Christmas. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. And everyone I know is going through this. I think it a lot to do with this weather. Um, you know, I would have gone for an hour's walk today, but for the freezing wind and constant... It's so awful cold. Anyway, it's, it's cheering up. But what do you think of this? This is definitely my favourite. And um, it's trendy. It's chic. It's a bit of everything, isn't it? As long as I don't trip over the trousers. Oh, they're not too long at all. Look. Don't let me go back. Anyway, my lovelies. Um... Is there any more news? Not really, no. In case you're wondering why I'm being so extravagant, well, not really. This was the only extravagance. There's more shopping coming up in a couple of weeks, but that was all pre-loved. Um, the, well, it sounds awful, but thank you, Jack, uh, because my vet did a really good claim for me from Pet Plan, um, and they sent me, well, a heap of money, not huge, not thousands, not even a thousand, but it's an unexpected little bonus. So thank you, little boy, in your big kennel in the sky, because you know how much it makes me happy to go shopping. And it's been wonderful retail therapy. Um, also, I needed new things and I needed new content for you and for Instagram. So I've got lovely lots of outfits to dress up in. Um, and I'm going to Portugal in a couple of weeks so I can do more cheap shopping there. So uh, yeah, I must be careful though because I don't want a wardrobe full of clothes that um, I've just got too many of. You know you should do, I should do, I'm talking to myself, one new in, one old out. So here's two new things. Um, the skirt, I think I did take something out for the skirt and the jeans. I know, I'm hoping this will be your favourite look as well as an outfit, but I'll definitely throw it over jeans. You know, if it's the right sort of thing, I'm going to, I don't. I'm making excuses. Why did I buy it? Because it was very pretty and very London-y, isn't it? I wanted more things for London. Um, so that's it, my lovelies. I hope I only started on Easter Monday filming uh, because it was Easter. So it's a short week. I don't know if it will be a short vlog yet. Um, but thank you very, very, very much, as usual. Um, we've plateaued again, so please spread the word and please do a thumbs up and please subscribe. The link's below and it's free. Um, and I will do this for you every week if you will come and join me, my lovely tribe, my fans of Jack. Mwah. God bless you all and see you next week. Oh, sorry.
bag. I will add socks and fox if she deigns to visit. Sorry, I know I've said goodbye, but I thought this is a great bag for, it will go with that beautiful skirt and jeans and everything, and I can carry a million things in it. It's from River Island. Everyone comments on this bag when they see me. Um, but I will add socks and fox if she comes back. She's got cubs, so she's um, busy feeding them. She won't leave them. She literally comes every two or three nights. She's absolutely ravenous, and she ate nearly a whole packet of chicken wings the other night. And she wouldn't go till she's had more and more and more food. And then I don't see her for two or three days. So I guess that's what she's doing because the cubs won't eat solids for another couple of weeks. Um, and then she'll start taking the food back and she'll be here every night. She's such a good mummy. Um, all right, my lovelies. Right, this really is goodbye. Goodbye.